I was like, oh, now I have to feel pressured. We have to go out somewhere. I have to, we have to pay for things. And all I really wanted to do, the sexiest thing I think to do, is to just cook together. And right. what was the most amazing thing is, that is exactly what she wanted to do. So. We cooked it up. <laughs> 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 we had the sweet potatoes. Yeah, we had the chicken out. Mm. The amazing kale. <laughs> the candle, the, I table, the table he set up, the candle, oh, it was yeah. just, it was perfect. It was breathing in a dream. Yeah, and I just feel like as, as trans folks to come together, there's all sorts of things that we feel like divide us. And yeah. I think for a long time, I felt like I was supposed to have certain kinds of relationships with certain people as a trans person, even in the LGB community, that it's very binary and you're right. expected to, if you want to be who you really are or if you're really that appealing or something, that, that somebody who's not trans is going to love me. And, I, yeah. and what was amazing was, that was our first date, which was bad. <laughs> By our second date, she got out of the car in these shoes, these huge platform shoes, which... I was thinking about wearing them today, by the way. She was. They're back there. <laughs> That's how close. Um, and she gets out of the car, and I'm just like, this woman is so amazing. I want to be everything like that she wants me to be, and I want to be perfect, and, you know, how is she feeling? Like, and I turned to her, like, kind of nervous, because we're holding hands, we're walking down my block, and she says... I love short guys. <laughs> I was really surprised. I just, but I felt so comfortable. And that's the thing about our relationship from the moment that I feel like we met is this woman has made me feel so comfortable and makes me feel so much like myself. And I, like, I wanted to tell her that I was oh, gender not binary and I lift up these other parts of my identity. And is this woman going to see that? Am I going to be enough for her to feel like who she is in the world? And, and I felt more than enough. And as a person that struggled with some of the stuff, some of the same things. Being a trans woman and being a tall trans woman, I was always told by people, you have to do this to feminize yourself and you should be with this type of person because a woman like yourself is with this type of person. This is what looks right and this is how it should be. And this would make your life a bit easier. But it was total opposite. When I met you, when I met him, it was just, magic and to share time and space with this person and feel so aligned and not have this feel forced and not have this feeling genuine and wake up every morning happy to see his face is just tremendous and in a world that is killing black trans women and brutalizing black trans people gender non-conforming people people of color to love this woman and to be with her on our journey together is it is the most beautiful gift ever. And I never thought I would look at another person and say, kiss me, I'm trans. trans. <laughs>